Psalms, Psalms chapter 4, verse 2. O ye sons of man, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? It's a lot. But know that Yahweh Yahweh has set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Consume with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Salah. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Shemel Shabbat Shemel Kapodash. The time is 144. The Wadi Yahweh Shemel Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstone. Deserve double honors. The time is one, I mean 444, but 144 when you read from right to left. So, 440, 444 a.m. in the morning, but 144 when you read from right to left. Um, the Wadi Yahweh Shemel Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstone who deserve double honors, rightfully so. Shalom off to the Akim, pushing the words of sincerity and truth and being faith-based and being prepared for what is to come and what is to come. Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the RFID chips, the mark of the beast, 200 million missiles hitting the soils of America. Sound was hammering, see the chariots of the Lord, lift up the whole full light into the chambers. Sound was hammering, see the chariots of the Lord, shooting laser beams with the ungodly and the heathens. Rightfully so. Hey. I brought this out a little take close to this video. I'm just a vessel seeking salvation. And uh, I just came across these verses. And it was really beautiful. And uh, and this is this is what's being done under the sun. That's in the sky. Right. And under and in front of the highway I was shot. And the angels. The um the um this is called again. Um, the, um, it's a word. I can't think of it. The commentary. All right, that's the word. The commentary. This is what it says in the commentary. The first verse, right? I was, um, yeah, I got it right here. Um, in the commentary, it says, for the first verse, it says, for Psalm chapter 40, I mean, Psalm chapter 4, verse 1, it says in the commentary, David prays for an audience. So I was trying to, let me see if this is am I right. Yeah, I, 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 I heard it now. Audience. Yeah, audience. All right. Let's see what audience means. I didn't, I just, this is, this is, going to the spirit right now but um this came to my mind when i when i read this i was like wow but i went down to verse two just want to hear something because um because we're praying for an audience too right because we want though y'all want we want y'all we always try to hear us We're going to let the secretary, because this phone be acting funny, so I'm going to let the secretary say it. The assembled spectators or listeners at a public event, such as a play, movie, concert, or meeting. See? See? The orchestra was given an enthusiastic ovation from the audience. So, we're praying for, for someone to hear us, and that someone is Yahweh our shot to protect us from these vain people. All right, these treacherous people. So that stuck out, and I just wanted to say that. When I read that verse, <laughs> it's a lot. All right, time is four four four, Monday, January tenth.
the year of the turnout. So, which is a beautiful year. It's a beautiful thing to name a year because it's already turning up. It's a beautiful name to name this year. And it's a beautiful time, though. Because we are we are awake to, to be, we are audience to it, too. Because we are listening, paying attention. But we're also praying for an audience, which is from Yahweh Yahweh Shah, which is the angels, Yahweh Shmuel Shah, and the angels is watching. And they're, and they're applauding us. I put this eye on these men. Like, like I, and I, I truly believe the Lord be speaking to me through my situations. That's how he speaks to you through your situations. Something, it, it, something could trigger something, and then all of a sudden you, you, you pay attention to that. Like a thought, oh, damn, okay, let's do this. And that's what happened. Because there's a lot of damn demons out here, man. And we're going to need, we're going to need all the righteous help we can get. All right, so let me go back. Because I, I wanted to, uh, since I read those two verses, I'm going to I'm gonna try to, um, see what the Lord, the Lord allows or if I can find out some two, two verses, whatever the Lord allows for me to do. You know? Um, Alright, so. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Alright, um, this is Psalms chapter 4, verse 2. O ye sons of man, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long? You think you think you got forever? I don't think so. You think you got eternity, eternity, eternity? No. Lord Yahweh is about to turn it up. How long, O oh son of man, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will ye Love vanity. They love vanity. They love this wet. Hey, the two thirds love this place, man. You have to be on your A game every day. You, know, you got to pay attention every day. How long will you love vanity? Will you love vanity and seek after leasing? I was looking at this word leasing, right? Which goes into. It's H thirty five seventy seven. Kazab Kazab Kazab, right? A lie, untruth, falsehood, deceit, so like Deceptive. Deceptive. Deceptive thing that's you. You are very deceptive. Right? Kazab. To tell a lie, to tell a lie, to be a liar, be found a liar, be, be in vain for liar. So that's you. Leasing. Oh, interesting. Just thought about it. Be proven to be a liar, to be lying. Oh, interesting. So they lease it. Hmm. So, O oh ye, oh ye sons of men, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long are you going to be lying on us, man? How long are you going to be leasing us? How long? Hmm? You think the Lord going to allow this forever? Hmm? We know we know we are, we, we know we sinners. This is why we're doing to the best of our ability. We, we're doing the right thing. We're gonna stumble and fall, but we gotta get back up. I mean, you ain't, we're not gonna stay down because you, because you the ultimate slanderer. 
Our job is to is to make progress for how we are with shot. That's our job. How long will you how long will you love vanity and seek after Lisa? We're gonna we're gonna look on deal with you according accordingly. Going you know, everybody have their day. Cause we had our day as in the full. You, so just like the Lord deal with nations. He gonna he gonna have you he gonna you gonna all <coughs> from the least for the height. The highest to the least is going to all be in that one bungalow. You go all, the Lord going to put you all in your own land. All you, you um, all you nations. I first just jumped in my head. Let me see something. I'll come back to that. All right. Let's see if I can find it. Mm. Yeah. Psalm chapter um, 2 verse 1. Why do the heathen rage? And imagine the vain thing. You imagine trying to run, trying to have us in your hands forever, destroying our fan, our, our legacies, making us work for you forever. That's what this was all about. See, you could play, you people could act stupid, and live in an illusion, but people are awake, man. And we got those individuals that talk about, uh, oh, this is happening to our world. They don't want, they, if they not yak, if they not, um, if they Esau or the other nations. And then they're not Yashallah, they, they really not, they don't want to see you rise to the occasion. You Negroes, Hispanics, and Native America, they want you under them forever. But Yahweh Shemel Shah, they, they, they imagine a vain thing. This is why they take counsel. The kings, verse 2, the kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord. Against Yahweh Yahweh Shah and against his anointing, saying, See, let us break their bonds asunder and cast away their call from us. See, that's what they do. All right. Um, When you go into that word, um, uh, asunder, uh, let's go, let's do balance bonds first. All right, let's do bonds first. All right, so it's, uh, H41, 47. Ma, Masa. Ra, Masara. Right? It says bonds, bands. Bonds, I mean bands, bonds. So what they're doing, they're breaking, they're breaking, they're breaking your whole, your whole, um, your nationality down. They try to tear you apart. They don't want you. Psalms 83. Right? They don't want you to know who you are. But just recently, um, <clears throat> at camp, at this weekend, I was just telling the brothers that we are um we're breaking the bonds too. We're breaking away from this world by by teaching our children our traditions. It's letting them know what the law Yahweh Shemel Shah gave us. He gave us law, statute, and commandments. And if we follow to the best of our ability, the Lord's gonna and he going the audience is gonna be watching. The audience that we need is going to be the right audience that's going to be listening. 